All right, ladies and gents, back here in the garage. Uh, first thing that I'm gonna do is <clears throat> go ahead and pop all these little pins here. All you do is pop them off. It's pretty, pretty simple. Pop the pins out. Ah, then get back in behind and take the little metal clips out and that pony emblem will pull right off the front of the grill. Uh, what I have here, I bought a simple L bracket and I bent this end right here back down. And where it's gonna go is, I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, there we go, right here. It's this little piece here goes right there and bolts up to it and I've scraped off some of the paint here so I can get good adhesion because what I'm going to do is I'll take this epoxy right here and I'm going to glue the pony emblem to the front of this bracket right here uh, but first I have to dark chrome the pony emblem what I use for that is this Shadow Effects by Duplicolor. Uh, I've had really good results with it in the past. Uh, the only thing about it is, is that you're gonna wanna, you know, make the cans warm. Uh, you know, disclaimer, this is dangerous. I put mine in the oven. My oven has a warm setting that's about 120 degrees. Uh, if you choose to, you can leave it out in the sun for a few hours, however you need to do it, but it just needs to be, you know, not room temperature, it just doesn't spray very well at room temperature. So I'm gonna get this pony emblem off and I'm gonna start dark chrome it. All right, first things first, we're gonna have to pop out these clips uh, for this bumper retainer here. Uh, and how you wanna do that, it's, you know, a pain. This right here has to be pried up at the same time that the bottom has to be pried up as well. Uh, because there's a hook under the bottom here, and then there's a hook on the top of this, the hook's into that. So it's, uh, <clears throat> they're complicated to take off. And it's the same thing for these right here. There is a hook that hooks over the top right here. And then there's also a hook that hooks under the bottom right here. So it ain't easy. So what we're gonna have to do is, uh, you know, I'm not gonna be able to film it while I'm doing it. But I'm going to take uh, all these parts off of the bumper, take your time, start, you know, for the grill here, start on one side, pop these out and hold them. You're going to have to hold this out while you're popping the rest or they're going to start popping back in for you until you get on, you know, about to right here. And then you can just start popping them, popping them loose and pulling them and getting them disconnected all the way around until you get all of them. All right. So here we are. Got the uh, grills out. So the next important question is, where do we cut? Well, Ford was nice enough to give us a line. That line right there is where you're gonna cut. It is fairly simple. You just cut on the line all the way around on both sides. And then on this bottom piece here, uh, this is the only kind of guesswork that you're gonna have to do but you can see where the two pieces of plastic come together you got a line that's where i cut and if you were cutting the center that's where you cut right on the line uh they give you these little marks here on the bottom you can mark yourself off a line across those little marks and uh i think those are just maybe casting marks or something <clears throat> you can scribe a line across it and mark same here scribe a line across to where the plastic is dimpled here, dimpled there, cut it out. That's all you have to do. All right, here we are ready for coat number one, light coat. Can is warm, but not too hot to hold on to. You just want it just a little warm. Go over it this way. I like to spray the top. Right. 
Well, that's about it. We'll come back. I'm going to eat some breakfast and then we're going to come back. Later. All right. You see how it's getting a little bit darker. Go for coat number two. We're just going to do coats until I get it to where I want it. All right. So I went a little darker than what I wanted, but I still get a little bit of the chrome in the background effect. I don't know if you can see it there around the legs stuff so pretty good now i'm gonna attach it to the bracket okay so this is what you're gonna be left with after your dremel uh huh. i know what some of y'all may be thinking oh my god what did i do to my mustang's grill well uh fear not and calm down because most of all this stuff that you got here all that will just come right off you take your finger and peel the stuff off front and back and it'll clean right up there may be a couple spots you may have to go back with the flat portion of the dremel and uh you know kind of clean up just a little bit but for the most part most all the stuff just comes right off so you're just gonna peel it off don't panic okay uh i got a Little piece of sandpaper. I, I don't even know what grid it is. I think it's around a 260 grid or something like that. Then I'm gonna go around the flat portion of the back here and just get along the edge, kind of clean it up a little bit more. But other than that, that's it. And that's what we're left with here. Uh, went around the edges, cleaned everything up. The side pieces on this. I don't cut out the center of the bottom grill. I just feel that if any rock's gonna hit, more than likely they're gonna hit there before they ever make it way up to the top grill. Uh, that's my own personal preference. It's your car. You can do whatever you want to with it. Don't listen to what nobody says. If you wanna cut out the bottom grill, cut that joker out too. It's, it's your car. But this is how I like it, just like this. Now I'm gonna glue this pony up and uh, get it hung and get these grills back in. All right, a little talk about how we got to where we are now. I've snapped the grills back into the uh, bumper and I just kind of hung the bumper up here. As you can see, it's not, not all the way in place. Just kind of hung it up and uh, drilled for my locations for my pony and got my epoxy on the back of it and put the pony back in the center of the grill. Uh, kind of got little thing of bolts there kind of holding it to keep the, the tail in from sagging down. So I'm going to let this epoxy dry for a little bit and then reinstall this bumper. It's exactly the opposite of how you, uh, how you take it off and <coughs> get everything back onto the car. Excuse me. And, uh, we'll be ready to go. Grill delete complete. Here I put the bumper back into place, pop the sides back in, got my bolts all started, uh, went ahead and fasten down these little bitty bolts on the side. One thing that you'll probably run into is this rubber flap. All you gotta do is tuck it back. Tuck it back up in here, all the way around. Get it tucked all the way around in there and it'll tuck up nicely. Uh, if you're wondering what I did for the, to rehang the pony emblem, I got some of these from AutoZone. They are square. I drilled a round hole, <clears throat> just match the size and popped them in and got them in there nicely <clears throat> and just use these two uh screws here to fasten it into the uh front so next video you're going to see is going to be the finished product all right there's the finished product dark chrome rehung the badge grill the leap side do mine looks much more aggressive opinion just something either you like the grill delete or you don't well that's just another video from us please like and subscribe for more because every modification i do i'm gonna try to do a video on try to you know i got told last car that i had i should have videoed a bunch of my modifications and i didn't so that's the purpose of finding this youtube channel and if i start making a little bit of money off of it, it's just the more modifications i can bring to you thanks for watching